What a day, what a day. Today we are covering cheap, undervalued stocks that are below the analyst estimates and below their intrinsic value. You don't find deals like this very often, so if you've been looking for undervalued stocks, today is your day because we're going to go through the top 10 and these guys all have low PE ratios and really good financials. And not only are these stocks undervalued, I've already done a lot of research on these stocks and I'm going to share my data and all the research with you that will help you make your own decision. I'm not a financial advisor and this video is for entertainment purposes only, so grab a cool cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. You guys asked for more pictures and stories, so here's another one from my Vietnam motorcycle adventure. Here are a few fun facts about Vietnam. It has a population of 90 million people and the capital city is Hanoi with 1 million people and this is where I started my motorcycle adventure. On most of my motorcycle adventures I plan my own routes and I do not use a guide. However, for Vietnam if you like off-road adventures I really recommend a guide because we went places that Google Maps doesn't know even exist. We literally rode through rice paddies on ridges, down abandoned roads where we had to find our own way, and we even had to ride on two by sixes over a river, and when one of my pant legs got caught on a foot peg, let's just say I got a little wet. All part of the adventure. Vietnam borders Cambodia, China, and Laos, and I've visited all of those countries. If you look at Vietnam on a map, it kind of looks like an S, and it has a coastline of 2,140 miles, and for size, it is about the same as New Mexico. Due to the shape of Vietnam, it has many different climatic zones, and the temperatures are generally hotter in the south and cooler in the north. The highest point in Vietnam is Phan Si Phan at 10,312 feet, and I can confirm it can be cold and beautiful in this region. And the nice thing about traveling with a guide is they know all of the cool places to stay and eat. Here were my accommodations for one night after a long day's ride. Stay tuned for more stories from my Vietnam travels. Let's jump into the beast mode for a quick side-by-side -side comparison of these stocks and check out their P.E. ratios. Welcome to the beast mode. This is where I do the full data analysis and this feeds the scorecards. There's a lot more great information here than what you see in the scorecards and if you'd like to get a copy, check out my Patreon page. Across the top, we've got the ticker symbol followed by the stock name and then we've got the industry and then we get into all kinds of data here and I always encourage you to pause the video because I love doing a side-by-side -side analysis in the beast mode. If we take a look at the three-month return, we can see that they're averaging 35.07%. The best one is FRTA at 50 55.99%, which is quite impressive. Another thing we notice is the P.E. ratio, and this group of stocks today all have lower P.E. ratios, and these are great for fundamental long-term investors. Our lowest one is 5.84, and our highest one is 95.86. Revenue growth is very important, and our best one today is EGO at 92.85%. And if you are interested in the full spreadsheet, there's a ton of data here that really makes investing a lot easier and a lot more fun. And now let's go through the stocks one by one. These images are from my free tools at jerryromine.com where in a matter of minutes you are taught proper risk management, how to research stocks, how and when to exit trades, and given a free stock portfolio with your custom trading plan. All fast and free. Check it out. Our first stock today is Forterra, ticker FRTA, and they manufacture pipe and precast products in the United States, Canada, and Mexico. If we take a look at the chart here, it's beautiful. We've got a very nice uptrend. We've got a channel. It just came down. It broke the blue 20-day simple moving average, which is not a good sign when we're trading an uptrend. It continued to go down, and then on high volume, it's came back, and it is up over that 20-day SMA. The red line here is the 50-day SMA, and the gray line is the 200-day SMA. So this is a very good-looking chart in an uptrend. It broke the line, went back up, and now is a good time to get into this stock or to be looking for a good entry point. The analysts have it rated as a moderate buy, and now we're going to look at the beast mode scorecard, and this is where the money's at. This does so much. And for today's list of stocks, if I asked you to find 10 stocks with a positive P.E. ratio that were priced below $20 and the stock price was lower than both the analyst estimate and the intrinsic value, how long would it take you to find those 10 10 stocks. Most people would not be able to come up with 10 stocks and I've saved you hours of time. As we go through this list, make sure you study the scorecard because every stock price is lower than the intrinsic value and the analyst estimates and it's really hard to find undervalued stocks like this in today's overvalued market. The current price is $14.59. The 52-week range is $3.45 to $15.97 and the estimated intrinsic value is $18.55 and the analyst target mean price is $16. For the rest of the video, I'm not 
not going to go over the intrinsic value or the analyst target mean price, but I want you to pay attention to them and even pause the video to see them because this is really important data. The PE ratio is 34.2. The tattle ratio is 1.08. The revenue growth is 7.4%. Operating margin, 7.4%. Net income margin is 1.8%. And the levered free cash flow is a healthy 11.7%. Our second stock is CECO Environmental Corporation, and their ticker is CECE, and they're an energy company providing clean, safe, and efficient energy solutions. If we look at the chart here, we can see they're in a very nice uptrend. They recently hit a 52-week high. They pulled back just a little bit, and then this is what I call consolidation, and this is very healthy for a stock. So it consolidated, and it pulled back to the 20-day simple moving average, and this is when I look to get into a stock. It's very common for a stock to go on a run and pull away from the simple day moving average, like it did here, come back to that and then repeat the cycle again when it's in an uptrend. So this is a very healthy looking chart and a really good sign. The analysts currently have it rated as a strong buy. The Beast Mode scorecard shows a 52 week range of $3.53 to $9. The PE ratio is 17.8. The year to date stock gain is 12%. The return over three months is impressive at 55%. The tattle ratio is 1.91. The revenue growth for the last 12 months is negative 5.5. 0.4%, the operating margin is 6.9%, net income margin 5.1%, and the levered free cash flow is 5.2%. Our third stock today is Brightsphere Investment Group, ticker BSIG, and they're a publicly owned asset management holding company. BSIG invests in public equity, fixed income, and alternative investment markets and also launches equity mutual funds for its clients. Back on July 20th, I recommended BSIG when it was at $12.35 per share, and it's now up 13% to $14.19, and it continues to grow with a beautiful looking chart. BSIG is my number two pick today. They've got awesome financials and a very nice net income margin. If we look at the chart, we can see they're in a very nice uptrend. They recently pulled back to the 20-day simple moving average and they're staying above it, which is a very good sign. The analyst targets currently have it rated as a hold. The Beast Mode scorecard has a 52-week price range of $3.61 to $14.61. The PE ratio is 5.8. The year-to-date stock gain is 40%. The tattle ratio is 1.2. The revenue growth is down 11.2%. The operating margin is very high, which is a great thing, at 40%. The net income margin is 25.7% and the levered free cash flow is 20.5%. Our fourth stock is Eldorado Gold Corporation, ticker EGO, and this is a Canadian company that owns and operates gold mines in Turkey, Greece, and Canada. EGO is my top pick of the day after going through the full beast mode analysis. Not only is it undervalued, it's available at almost one half the book value and the revenue growth is an impressive 93%. Patrons, be sure to check out the full beast mode because this stock is looking really good. The chart for Eldorado Gold shows that it was in an uptrend, it's pulled back, and now it's coming back up, so it's definitely a stock to watch. The analysts currently have it rated as a moderate buy. The Beast Mode scorecard shows the 52-week price range is $4.60 to $13.20. The PE ratio is 14. The year-to-date stock gain is 36. The revenue growth is an impressive 92.8%. Net income margin 16.5%. And the levered free cash flow is 10.9%. Number five is Hanes Brands Incorporated, ticker HBI, and they're a worldwide clothing company best known for their Hanes underwear. If we look at the stock, we can see they've been in a very nice uptrend, and the analysts currently have them rated as a moderate buy. The 52-week price range is $6.96 to $16.76. The PE ratio is 10.6. The net income margin is 7.8%, and the levered free cash flow is 11.3%. Our sixth stock is CYD, and they manufacture diesel and natural gas engines in China and internationally. I recommended them on July 20th when it was $13.65, and it's now up 15% to $15.97. And this is a great manufacturing business that is solid, steady, and has a low PE ratio. If we look at the chart, we can see they're in a nice uptrend, and they're currently consolidating. And when a stock is consolidating like this, it's coming back towards the 20-day simple moving average. And I always like to look for a breakout whenever it starts going back up. Analysts currently have CYD rated as a strong buy. The 52-week price range is $7.77 to $17. The PE ratio is 7.9 and the net income margin is 3%. 
The seventh stock is R1RCM, ticker RCM, and they're an American health core debt collection company servicing hospitals, health systems, and physician groups across the United States. A quick look at their chart, we can see they're in an uptrend. They recently came down, broke the 20-day SMA. They're consolidating now, and I would wait for a buying signal after they have crossed back over that 20-day SMA. Analysts currently have them rated as a strong buy. Their 52-week price range is $7.12 to $15.82. Their PE ratio is 95.9. Their net income margin is 4%, and their levered free cash flow is 4.4%. Our eighth stock today is Tencent Music Entertainment Group, ticker TME, and they're a company that develops music streaming services for the Chinese market. TME is a joint venture between Tencent and Spotify. If we look at the charts, we can see they are in an uptrend. However, the 20-day simple moving average recently crossed below the 50-day simple moving average, and that's a bearish sign, or at least it's a signal where I would wait before it crosses back up over that 20-day simple moving average. The analysts currently have them rated as a strong buy. Their 52-week range is $9.20 cents to $17.97. Their PE ratio is 46.8. The net income margin is 14.4% and their levered free cash flow is a very healthy 21.3%. Our ninth stock is Star Group, ticker SGU, and they're an American company and service provider specializing in the sale of home heating products and services to residential and commercial customers. A look at their chart shows they're in a very nice uptrend. Based on 13 technical indicators, SGU is currently in an 88% buy. Their 52-week price range is $6.11 to $9.80. Their PE ratio is 9.3. Their net income margin is 3.4%, and their levered free cash flow is 11.8%. Our tenth and final stock today is TriPoint Group, ticker TPH, and they build single-family detached and attached homes in the United States. A look at their chart and we can see they are in an uptrend. They recently crossed below the 20-day simple moving average and they bounced off their 50-day simple moving average and they're heading up. I would look for a buy above this level right here, which looks to be about $18. Analysts currently have them rated as a moderate buy. Their 52-week range is $5.89 to $18.63. Their PE ratio is 8.7. The net income margin is 8.3%, and their levered free cash flow is 17.1%. Today we covered fundamentally strong companies and in today's overvalued market, stocks like these are really hard to find that are priced below their intrinsic value and the analyst estimates. And my number one pick today was a real winner and it had some sweet numbers. Not only did it have a 90% revenue growth, it was also available at almost one half the book value, which is phenomenal. And hopefully today I've helped you find some undervalued stocks in an overvalued market. If you appreciate this video, please give me some YouTube love. And if you have any ideas for me, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you've not already taken advantage of Weeble to get your one free stock worth up to $1,600, that link is in the description below as well. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. And if you're interested in the full Beast Mode spreadsheet, check out my Patreon. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you soon on a fresh new video.